Basically, growing up with Rachel's never been easy. She's, she's always been the perfect role model. You know, if it's grades at GCSEs, A-levels, all that, going to university, cars, and now, you know, she's nailed the, the husband as well. For me today, it's not only, you know, Lee's become my brother-in-law, but it's something I've always known. He's always been my brother, and I'm, I'm so proud of you both, and it makes my heart swell with pride to see you both here today. And um, You've sort of set the precedent for what I think it means to be in a good relationship because, you know, it's really easy to be cynical nowadays with everything in life. But I think being here in front of you, you guys declaring what you have done today, I, I couldn't, you know, I think it's perfect, so. But I'd say Lee isn't your typical lad's lad. He's not really a ladies' man, and you would love to tell you otherwise. Maybe it's down to his poor style, or maybe it's because he has some of the worst chat-up lines known to man. <laughs> I do remember him saying to one girl, do you play Xbox games? <laughs> uh, I first saw Lee in June uh, 2012 going to an interview. Um, I'd taken Rachel for the same interview in Kings Norton. Not that me and Rachel sort of look at people and form opinions, which we do do, but um, I, said, I, saw, I watched Lee getting out of the motor and I said to, to Rachel, I said, oh well, if this, if this gentleman's going for the same interview, Rach, the job's in the bag, mate, it's no problem for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, everybody needs a Lee in their life. He's one of the best guys I know. He's forever cracking poor jokes, but he's just full of life and positivity. We've laughed, cried and argued on many occasions, but ultimately, we're still best mates. If he wants something, he works hard to get it. Which is hard to understand, because he's such a modest boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, one evening out of the blue, Rachel got a phone call. It was Lee. He had invited her to a black tie ball in the jewellery quarter and was provided taxes each way. An opportunity too good for Rachel to miss. So Rachel agreed to go on this blind date. They became boyfriend and girlfriend in July 2015. And not wishing to waste any time, Lee asked for a private audience with me in February 2016 and asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. I respected him for this formal approach and after much discussion and libation by red wine, we shook hands on the deal. <laughs> Your biggest day has finally arrived, the day you say I do. I hope it's everything you dreamed it would be and all your dreams come true. We've shared so many happy times and sure there's been tears too, but nothing makes me happier than standing here today with you. Share each other's happiness, share your hopes and dreams, keep each other safe and warm however hard life seems. From this day on, you'll always have someone on your side to love, protect and shelter you, someone in which you can confide. I want to wish you happiness in everything you do. Love, protection, prosperity, and lots of laughter too. I'm hope to share this day with you and wish you wedded bliss. I love you and always will. Congratulations, big sis. So, on February 13th, 2016, Lee proposed on bended knee. I got a phone call shortly afterwards from a very happy and excited daughter. This journey and over three years later has brought us to today and the commitment, love and union of two young people. I wish you much love, success and happiness in your future life together and I, I think you will get that. You know, you'll go forward together as a very united couple because I've seen you work well together. So all the best to you both. To my best friend, my love, my Rachel. Of all the things I love about you, it's your strength and determination that I love the most. Your ability to adapt to any situation and come out on top of it all really does warm my heart. I love you for it. The fact that you're an absolute fox is actually just a <laughs> massive bonus for me, so, you know, all that considered. <laughs> 
I really did fall in love with you from the moment I saw you. All I want to say is I'll never forget how amazing you look that day and how amazing you look today. You look absolutely stunning. My handsome Mr Clark. Today is the start of yet another Till Clark adventure and I know this one will be one for the books. Every day I admire your tenacity, quiet intelligence and positivity. When we are together I know we can achieve anything. You encourage, motivate and inspire me to keep going even when things get tough. Thank you for being weird with me and making me laugh until I cry. <laughs> Whenever I am with you, I am home and I am safe. You have the kindest heart in which I have found such joy and happiness. In good times and bad, I promise to always make sure that there is tea and cuddles. As we grow together, I know that I am sharing my life with my best friend and what a privilege that is. I promise that I will always have your back and will love you fiercely for as long as I live. Rachel, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And a token of my love and affection. And a token of my love and affection. I remember the first time I ever heard about Rachel. It started out by being pretty good friends. And to be honest, I just imagine Rachel just felt sorry for him. So she was just sort of... <laughs> I'd like to say on behalf of myself and my wife Sue that how proud we are of Lee in all his achievements. Well, it's absolutely fantastic that Lee has found the love in his life in Rachel. It's been lovely that they are best friends and he's the happy good wish for, well, good wish for a better daughter in law. So. so if everyone would like to join me in raising a glass to the bride and groom, <laughs> I wish you a lifetime of love and happiness together to the new Mr and Mrs Clark. Where do I begin? Uh, I can't put into words how much I love you. It's impossible to do, but I've tried my best. Okay, I just want to say how happy I am to finally now call you my wife. I mean, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say that writing this was truly easy because I switched my brain off. For me, that isn't hard to do. Um, but you know, it doesn't take a lot. I just rip from the heart. Uh, just knowing that I'm sharing the rest of my life with you makes me already feel that I've completed a one of life. I can pretty much happily sit down and say I've made it, so thank you. <laughs> um, I just want to say I feel so lucky to have found a woman that is completely on my level, both humour and just general. I mean, I've got to say that I'm lucky to have someone who's so beautiful and kind and who I know I can always depend on. Um, you have an absolutely gorgeous smile. And if I'm having a bad day, if I'm coming back from work, you just singing your songs in the kitchen or just generally being yourself, it never ceases to make me happy. So your happiness and your smile always makes me happy. And for that, I'm really thankful. You are my rock, Rach, and I love you with all my heart. Thank you for giving me a purpose. Thank you.